How to shear a sheep. Shearing is necessary for the health and happiness of your sheep, and even though it's a dirty, sweaty, tiring job, it is also extremely rewarding. It's important to know what you're doing while shearing, otherwise you could stress or injure the sheep, or destroy the wool. Start with step 1 below to find out the hows and whys behind shearing sheep. Preparation and Planning Understand why the sheep needs to be sheared. Shearing is done for two main reasons, to collect sheep's wool for sale, but more importantly to relieve the sheep of heavy wool which may cause them to overheat in summer. In some parts of the world, sheep shearing is even considered a sport. If the sheep are not sheared, they will become uncomfortable and possibly unhealthy, due to the dirt that can become matted up in their wool. Therefore, even if you do not plan on selling the wool for profit, your sheep will still need to be sheared at least once a year, due to its warmth and the ease with which it can be spun into yarn. The wool from certain breeds of sheep is a valuable commodity. These animals are often raised differently and fed a special mineral-rich diet to improve the quality of their wool. A single sheep can produce 8 to 10 pounds of wool. Choose the right time of year. Most sheep only need to be sheared once a year, although some breeds with faster-growing wool will need to be sheared twice. The best time of the year to shear your sheep is in early spring, before the lambing season starts and the hot summer weather sets in. Shearing ewes before lambing season is a good idea for many reasons. It will help to keep them cleaner while giving birth, and make it easier for the lambs to find their mother's teats for feeding. If the animals are kept in a barn during lambing season, the sheared sheep will also take up less space. Another reason shearing before lambing season is a good idea is that sheared ewes will often eat more grass in order to produce more body heat. This provides them with the extra nutrition they need before giving birth. Try to shear the sheep about a month before they give birth to the lambs. This will give them time to get over the stress of shearing. If you own a breed of sheep with fast-growing wool such as Cotswolds, Icelandics and Lincolns aim to do the shearing in late summer or early autumn. Sheep will need at least six weeks to grow their wool before the winter weather sets in. Consider calling an experienced sheep shearer. Although it may not seem like it, shearing a sheep is very hard work. It requires confidence, skill and strength. Therefore, it might be a good idea to call in a professional shearer to perform or at least help out with the shearing. An inexperienced shearer can cause injury to the sheep or to himself. It can also stress the animal, therefore affecting its health. In addition, an unskillfully sheared sheep can cause damage to the wool, thereby making it less valuable for selling. In certain areas, professional sheep shearers can be booked out months in advance, so it's a good idea to call well ahead of shearing time. Other options include bringing the sheep from a number of smaller farms to a central location to be sheared. Here a hired shearing crew can shear all the sheep and process the wool simultaneously. If you're adamant about shearing the sheep yourself, you can learn the proper skills by attending a sheep shearing school. Many sheep farming states hold annual shearing classes that are open for any shepherds to attend. Gather the right equipment. It's very important to have good quality shearing equipment. This will make the whole process much easier and is safer for both the shearer and the sheep. These days, electric cutters are used almost exclusively. Electric shears have three main parts, the handpiece, the comb and the cutters. Look for shears with a higher number of teeth on the comb, as these tend to cut closer to the skin. You can expect to pay $250 to $500 for a good quality electric shears. It's important to ensure that your cutters are still sharp before you begin shearing. Dull cutters will be more difficult to use and could be dangerous for both you and the sheep. Luckily, it is very easy to just replace the cutters on your shears. New cutters will cost between $10 and $15, in years gone by and in places with limited access to electricity shearing was done using hand shears. This method of shearing is much more time consuming and leaves more wool on the sheep. Herd the sheep into a pen. Before shearing, the sheep should be rounded up and gathered into a pen. If possible, separate the sheep into groups, keeping any lambs, yearlings, ewes and rams separate from each other. You could also separate the sheep according to breed or grade. Don't allow the sheep to get wet. Make sure that the sheep are not exposed to rain before shearing, as wet sheep cannot be sheared. This is because the shearer or the sheep could receive an electric shock from the shears and wet wool cannot be rolled up and sold. Fast the sheep for a day before shearing. Sheep should not be given any food for the day prior to shearing. This will reduce the amount of waste they produce and help to keep the shearing floor clean. It will also minimize their discomfort when rolled on their backs for shearing. 